Hello everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a video using Adobe Premiere Rush with more than four windows or four screens. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no way to add more than four screens in a single project using Adobe Rush. Um, if anyone, if I'm incorrect, if anyone knows a way to do it, uh, please let me know. Um, so I'm going to show you the method I use for adding more than four screens using different projects. That will make sense later. Um, I made a video a couple months ago about how to create these split screen music videos using Adobe Rush. So if you need a refresher course, you can go back and watch that. Um, but for today, I'm just going to start with an already put together and synced up track for simplicity. Okay, so as you can see here, I got four tracks. Um, and if I tried to add my lead vocals track here, this is what happens. It puts it behind all the tracks, which usually is fine, and you can just drag it over. But when you try to drag it, Adobe says, uh, nice try, not today, bud. Um, so you can't go under, you can't go over, you can only go before or after, um, which in this case is not going to work. So. What I need to do is, well, first I'll show you um, what this project looks like now. Uh, this is uh, Fortunate Son by CCR, but it's just the instrumentals, and I don't have the vocals added yet. Yeah, so you get a little taste there. Um, so what you need to do is go to Share, and you name it, I'll just call it first four. And then you export this video file to whatever folder you picked. Um, it takes a little while to uh, put it all together, so I've already done this. Um, but what would happen is, I'm gonna click out of this project. Okay, so you need to make a new project. So I'll call it CCR Final and you take your first four that you've done and you add in the uh, window you want to add. Then you hit create. Okay, so now you can see the first four video is actually one file. So now I can drag this over. Uh, it's much too big. Um, and you can put this wherever in my video that I did before I just kind of put it in the middle here. Um, one thing that is important to keep in mind is once you export the first video uh, of the four screens, you can't change the individual audio levels anymore. So you need to be sure that the audio levels are good. Right now I can only change the audio as a video, as one video you can no longer individually change them. Um, I can change the audio for my new window, which I will do. Okay, so then what you need to do is line your tracks up. So let's see how we're looking here. I can see here, this is where the singing starts. So I have a fairly good idea um, that I'm gonna need to move that forward but I don't know how much forward. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh man, so close. Okay, I just gotta move it back a little bit. Almost. Okay, zooming in and moving it a little bit. Okay, looks pretty good to me. 
So what I'll do now is pull this. Um, all the dragging and moving and such that I'm doing, um, all of this I explained in my first video. So um, if you're confused, you might need to uh, go back and watch that. Um, OK, so. One, two, three, four. Looks good. Now I just need to adjust the ending here. Hey, me. Okay, so I want them to end at the same time. So it's just about there. One, two, three. Whoops. Sorry about that. Um, okay, that was that was pretty close. It's almost, almost. Yeah, for this video, that that's close enough. Um, so let me just hit a random part and see what the audio levels are like. All right, actually, I think that audio is pretty good. I just have it at just the standard 50. Um, I did adjust the audio levels of the instruments. The tambourine isn't 50, I think it's 30. And I turned the bass, one of these is the bass, um, down to 45. And uh, then the lead guitar and the rhythm guitar were both 50. Um, okay, so then what you do is you go to share, you would just type in CCR final, export it, and then that would be it. Um, so that's what I do. Um, when you start getting into five is okay, because you can do this screen in the middle. When you start getting into more, six, seven, eight, I don't even know how many windows my Beach Boys video had, eight. Um, you need to get a little bit more creative with the spacing. Um, for example, if I hit this, Yeah, it totally um, uh, changes it, but um, you can add windows like one here, one here, one here. Wow, what an excellent screenshot of me this this is. That's I this is disturbing. I need to change it back. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, and now it's adjusted this. Okay, wow, this video really went off the deep end. Um, when you start changing the aspect ratios, everything changes, so um, be careful. But that's what you can do. But basically, when you, you need to get creative with sizing of videos and such. I will show you one thing. Let me try to make this more reasonable here. Okay. Um, Say I wanted to adjust the, uh, the size of this window a little bit. What you do is you go to this crop and rotate. And you can actually adjust the size here. So like left, I can bring this in. Right, I can bring this in to 22.8. Um, then I could like do this. Um, yeah. Uh, I could make another video about this in the future, about how to really space things out and crop, but uh, that's basically the uh, way that I make at least five screen videos with Rush. Um, if anyone has a better way, uh, please let me know. Um, Rush isn't exactly the best program for making tons of screens, um, but you get used to it. I love it. Um, yeah. So any questions you can ask me down in the comments and, um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. All right. See you guys.